Good morning everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I get ready for the day with my daytime skincare routine. I prefer to brush my teeth before washing my face. If you have long hair like I do, tie your hair back in a ponytail. Remove the glasses and if you have bangs, fringes, or straight hairs like I do, pull the hairs back with a headband like this to keep them away from your face. After splashing cold water on my face, I start with my cleanser from Mary Kay. This is formulated for my oily combination skin. There's also a formula for those who have dry to normal skin. Taking the cleanser with the size of a nickel, apply this onto your fingers. Make an okay sign with both hands. These three fingers are the most gentle fingers on your hand without adding additional pressure. Massage your face for about a minute with your cleanser to get rid of dirt, oil, and dead skin cells. Then rinse your face with warm water and pat your face dry with a towel. Next, take an anti-aging serum. Here, I'm using Mary Kay's Day Solution. Find a serum that has SPF broad spectrum to protect your face from the sun's harmful rays. Massage the serum into your face until it is fully invisible. Don't forget to apply this on your neck area as well. Time for moisturizer. I'm using a moisturizer that will help control the natural oils on my skin without drying it out. This step is important since our skin cannot produce water. Moisturizer will help bring back the moisture, vitamins, and minerals back into our skin. Apply the moisturizer onto your face and neck area. I apply eye cream to my dark circle so I look less like a zombie. Use your ring fingers because it's the most gentle fingers on your hands. Gently pat the eye cream on your eye area until it's invisible. I also like to apply this above and below my brows to prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Patting the dark areas underneath your eyes will help bring blood circulation back to your skin and these areas will appear much brighter. This is optional, but I like to apply my foundation primer. It helps my foundation last longer and it also has SPF. Using my fingers, I sweep this all over my face and it feels light like silk. Find a concealer that's two shades lighter than your natural skin tone with an orange and or yellow undertone and gently pat this on your eye area. I love this concealer because it's waterproof. You can use this concealer to conceal any other imperfections on your face. Did you know that foundation is not just part of makeup? It's actually the last step in your skincare routine. Find a formula that works best for your skin, depending if you're a combination of oily skin like me or if you need something that's for normal to dry skin. For easier application, I warm my foundation on the back of my hand and I apply dots on my face like this. Since this foundation is full of pigments, I don't need to add as much and it's very light and buildable so I can add as much or as little as I need. Tiny hairs on our face grows downwards, blend the foundation downwards to avoid any obvious streaks. I like to use my fingers because the warmth of my fingers makes it easier for the foundation to blend onto my skin. For a very natural look, blend down toward your neck area. You can also use a foundation brush for a more HD finish. When you're done, always be sure to clean your brushes right after. This is optional, but if you want to finish off with powder, that you can. For those who prefer to use a mineral foundation or finishing powder, tap a small amount of powder onto the lid, then using a kabuki brush, blend from the middle of your face and outward in large circular motions. Your face should feel natural, as though there's barely anything there. We're almost done, so for the last step, I'm going to go ahead and put down my hair and put on my glasses. From here, I can already see that my face is nice and bright. 
My lips are feeling chapped and dry, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Taking my lip mask for a gentle lip exfoliator, I apply this onto my lips, and yes, I look as though I just ate a powdered donut. Blow you a kiss? Nah. After about a minute, I gently exfoliate the mask off in circular motions using a damp towel until all the dead skin is removed. Finish off with lip balm. I like this lip balm because it moisturizes all layers of skin on my lips to keep them soft and kissable. Mwah. Now we're finished. We're ready to take on the day. We also created a clean palette for adding makeup if we so wish later. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and good luck. Please show support by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to connect with me in the links below.